फॉर द सर्किट इन फिगर यूज सुपर पोजिशन टू फाइंड आई कैलकुलेट द पावर डिलीवर्ड टू द थ्री ओ होम रजिस्टर वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस आई एंड पावर डिलीवर्ड टू दिस थ्री ओ होम रजिस्टर यूजिंग सुपर पोजिशन थेरम देर आर वन टू थ्री थ्री इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस इन दिस सर्किट सोल्यूशन First of all, we will redraw the circuit. Now, let's say I is equal to I one plus I two plus I three. Since there are total three independent sources, so we have taken I one plus I two plus I three. Where I one comma I two and i3 are the currents due to 20 volt comma 2 ampere and 16 volt respectively Now to find I one, we will consider twenty volt. To find I one, consider twenty volt voltage source and turn off all other sources. All other sources. so this will be this this i will be i1 and we are turning off all other sources except 20 volt so this is the current source so this will be turn off and open circuited this is a voltage source so this is turn off and short circuited now we have to find this i1 so to find i1 let's find i first so as we can see that this 1 ohm is in series with this 3 ohm so this will be 4 ohm now this 4 ohm parallel with this 4 ohm so this will be this will be 2 ohm now this 2 ohm series with 2 ohm so this will be total resistance 4 ohm we have the value of resistance as 4 ohm and voltage is 20 volt we have to find current i so from this we can find i is equal to v by r v is 20 and r is 4 so current is 5 ampere now we will redraw this circuit again this value is 5 ampere we have to find this i1 i1 is equal to opposite branch resistance so opposite branch resistance is this 4 this current 5 ampere first 5 into opposite branch resistance which is 4 by this 4 plus 4 4 plus 4 so this will be 5 into 4 by 4 plus 4 2.5 ampere 2.5 ampere so i1 is equal to 2.5 ampere next we have to find i2 so to find i2 we will consider 
टू एम्पियर करंट सोर्स टू फाइंड आई टू कंसिडर टू एम्पियर करंट सोर्स एंड टर्न ऑफ ऑल अदर सोर्सेस so now we will consider this two ampere and turn off all other sources since this is a voltage source so this will be turn off and short circuited also this is a voltage source so this will be turn off and short circuited now we have to find also this will be i2 we have to find this i2 so let's say this is node or we can find using current division rule as we can see that this 2 ohm parallel with this 4 ohm we will circuit so this 4 ohm parallel with 2 ohm so this will be 4 into 2 by 4 plus 2 4 into 2 by 4 plus 2 1.3 ohm this will be one point three ohm then now as we can see this uh, one point three ohm is in series with this three ohm so this will be four point three ohm and this will be short circuited directly now we have to find this current i2 so apply current division rule to find i2 so i2 is equal to i2 is equal to this current which is 2 ampere into opposite branch resistance opposite branch resistance is 1 ohm by total so 1 plus 4.3 so this will be 2 into 1 by 1 plus 4.3 so this is 20 by 53 20 by 53 ampere this is the value of i2 20 by 53 ampere next we have to find i3 so to find i3 to find i3 we will consider this 16 volt voltage source consider 16 volt and turn off all other sources all other sources we are considering this 16 volt and we will turn off all other sources so this is a current source so this will be open circuited this is the voltage source so this will be short circuited and this will be current i3 so to find i3 first we will find this current as we can see this 2 ohm is in parallel with this 1 plus 3 this is 4 ohm so 2 ohm parallel with 4 ohm this is 4 ohm
फोर ओम सो दिस विल बी टू इंटू फोर बाय टू प्लस फोर टू इंटू फोर बाय टू प्लस फोर वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री और वन पॉइंट थ्री ओम सो दिस विल बी वन पॉइंट थ्री Now one point three is in series with four ohm, so this will be total resistance. R is equal to five point three, V is equal to sixteen volt. We have to find I, so I is equal to sixteen by five point three, so five point three. So this will be sixteen by five point three. Three point zero one. So this will be three point zero one ampere. This will be minus three point zero one ampere because the polarity is opposite and the I three direction is in this direction. So this will be minus three point zero one ampere. Now here we will apply current division rule. So I three is equal to opposite branch resistance, which is this two ohm. Into this current, which is minus three point zero one ampere, divided by total resistance. Total resistance will be two plus four. Two plus four. So this will be two into two into minus. Three point zero one divided by two plus four minus one point or minus one directly minus one ampere. So I three is equal to minus one ampere. Now what we have to find? We have to find I I is equal to I one plus I two plus I three. I is equal to I one plus I two plus I three. Now I one is two point five ampere. Two point five ampere, and I two is I two is twenty by fifty three. So twenty by fifty three plus I three. I three is minus one ampere. So this will be two point five plus two point five plus twenty by fifty three. Then minus one. So this will be one point one point eight seven seven one point eight. Seven seven ampere. This is the value of I. One point eight seven seven ampere. Then what we have to find next? Use superposition to find I and power delivered to the three ohm resistor. We have to find the power delivered to this three ohm resistor. So this will be. Power is equal to I square into R. So R is three ohm. So this will be I square is one point one point eight seven seven square into three. One point eight seven seven square into three. Ten point five six. Power is equal to ten point five six. The unit of power is watt. So watt for electrical and electronics engineering related questions and answers. Visit the link in the description below.